Salvatore, Sam, Matteo, Italian pronunciation, Salva, modifier letter vertical line, to, modifier letter triangular colon, Rima, modifier letter vertical line, T, Latin small letter Esh, Latin small letter open A, modifier letter triangular colon, O, March 1st, 1894, April 16th, 1951 was a Sicilian immigrant and organized crime boss in Galveston, Texas in the United States. Because of his efforts, Galveston Island became a nationally known resort town during the early and mid-20th century, a period known as Galveston's Open Era. He and his brother, both Sicilian immigrants, owned numerous restaurant and casino venues including the now-vanished Hollywood Dinner Club and the Balinese Room. Sometimes known as the Velvet Glove, Sam's smooth style and ability to influence people were legendary. He was able to wield influence comparable to an elected official and he held relationships with celebrities and politicians throughout Texas and the United States. During his lifetime he and his island home were known nationwide. The culture and economy Sam and the Makeo Syndicate helped create on the island engendered the nickname, Free State of Galveston. He was also involved in the development of the Las Vegas Strip during the late 1940s, particularly the establishment of the Desert Inn. Early life Salvatore Macao was born in Palermo, Sicily to Vito Macao and Angelina Sansone in 1894. He had three brothers, Rosario, Rose, Vincent, and Frank. In 1901 the Macao family immigrated to Leasville, Louisiana in the United States. He trained as a barber and moved to Galveston in 1910, shortly before World War I, to start a business with his brother Rose. Growth of an empire as prohibition took hold Sam and Rose began to give gifts of wine that they were able to smuggle to their customers. As their customers became more interested in the liquor they gradually became more serious bootleggers. The Makeo brothers allied themselves with the beach gang, opened a cold drink place, I speak easy, and invested in the gang's gambling operations. Eventually the beach gang leader Ollie Quinn and the brothers opened the Hollywood Dinner Club, the Gulf Coast's most elegant nightclub at the time. Sam's smooth personality quickly made him the face of the nightclub. He is said to have developed his style and interpersonal skills by modeling Quinn's facility in dealing with politicians. Fortuitous arrests of the leaders of the gangs allowed the brothers to gain control of the island's underworld. The Makios gradually invested in numerous clubs and other entertainment ventures in the city involving gambling and bootlegging. Their other big venture, besides the Hollywood, was a club and casino called Mesos Grotto, later renamed the Balinese Room, which opened in 1929. The Makios soon controlled most of the gambling, prostitution, and other vice on the island. Their wealth and Sam's ability to deal with influential figures allowed him to exert increasing influence over other businesses and the government of the island. The Makeo Syndicate The syndicate created by the Makeos quickly became a business empire. Through business dealings and partnerships Sam Makeo was able to earn millions for the syndicate. However, though Sam was generally the public face of the syndicate, Rose is generally credited as being the boss. The headquarters of the Makeo Syndicate was the Turf Athletic Club. In addition to gymnasium and steam room facilities, the club contained a bookmaking parlor for baseball and horse race betting, as well as two clubs, the Studio Lounge and the Western Room. The business empire included dozens of bookmaking parlors, casinos, and clubs throughout the island and Galveston County, particularly Kima and Dickinson. Additionally the Makios came to dominate vice and narcotics as far north as Dallas. The crown jewel of the Makeo Empire was the Hollywood Dinner Club. Once the Hollywood was shut down by the Texas Rangers in 1939, the Balinese Room became the premier club in the syndicate's holdings. Other properties held by the Makios included the Moulin Rouge, Murdoch's Bingo, and the pleasure pure got investments in oil speculation helped to diversify the Mesos portfolio and add to their wealth leading to the creation of Gulf oil properties. Other Makeo corporate holdings included Makeo and Company, Dickinson Equipment, Murdoch Bathhouse Company Incorporated, Gulf Coast Properties Incorporated, 
golf entertainment places, and the Galveston Novelty Company. Meso cultivated relationships with business leaders throughout Galveston, including William L. Moody, head of one of Galveston's most prominent families. Over the years, Sam was able to secure substantial financing from Moody's American National Insurance Company, ANICO, and many other institutions. Masio established strong relationships with the blessing from leading families such as the House of Seely and the Kempner family. Major legitimate businesses on the island such as the Seely's Banking, Premier Hotel Galvez were, in fact, able to thrive in large part because of the illegal activities permitted and including access to the Galveston wharves and shipping terminals owned by the House of Seely. The Makios did not own all the major vice businesses on the island. Though dominant figures in many ways, they generally did not attempt to prevent others from prospering so long as it did not interfere with their businesses. Nevertheless, in the view of many the Makios ran the illegal activities on the island for three decades. Though the operations the Makios owned were largely confined to Galveston County, there were stories of partnerships outside of the county. Houston crime boss Bagnagio Angelico was said to be a subordinate of Sam and Rose. Houston businessman Vincent Vallone, officially a restaurateur, was said to be a partner of the Makios and heavily involved in the Houston gambling and nightclub scene. In 1937 Makeo and Vallone were arrested together on federal narcotics charges, but were never convicted. Personal life Makeo first married Jessica McBride in Galveston. He later remarried to Edna Marie Sedgwick, a ballet dancer from Rhode Island in 1941. Sedgwick had begun her career in ballet at a young age, had performed for heads of state throughout Europe and had performed in Universal Studios films such as, You're a Sweetheart, 1937. While traveling with a group of entertainers to Galveston, Edna met Sam and they were soon married. Sam and Edna had three children. Sam Jr., Edward, and Seji. Following Sam's death Edna married Henry Plitt of New York, founder of Plitt Theaters. In spite of Sam's influence in the community and importance to the economy, the Makios were never accepted by the leading families of Galveston society. Indeed, Sam was never allowed to join the local country club, a mark of acceptance among leading families. Reports indicate that Edna in particular felt the rejection by high society. Public perceptions in the business world, Sam Makeo was known as being pleasant and persuasive. He was influential with politicians, business leaders, and Hollywood celebrities alike. The general public saw Makeo as a kind, generous person who genuinely cared for the Galveston community. Sam was known for favoring local companies when hiring contractors for the syndicate. He donated heavily to the church and to local charities. According to one story, a local automobile dealer, on the edge of bankruptcy, fortuitously managed to sell a fleet of cars to all of the priests in the city, paid for by Sam Makeo. Another account says that when Makeo discovered that a local black church could not afford a new roof, a work crew soon appeared free of charge to do the work. Criminal investigation In 1937 federal charges were filed against Sam Makeo who was accused of being the mastermind of a nationwide narcotics trafficking scheme. Masio was released on bail and fought extradition to New York. Ultimately he was acquitted in 1942. There was a great deal of speculation in the Galveston community as to whether Makeo was framed including speculation that the Moody family was involved. Though the Makeo owned clubs were raided numerous times the raids were rarely successful with the important exception of the Hollywood Dinner Club being closed and the Makeos were able to carry on their business throughout their careers. End of an era the heyday of the free state was over by the 1940s. Because of conflicts with the United States Treasury, the Hollywood Dinner Club was shut down in the late 1930s. The local clubs found it increasingly difficult to attract major entertainment figures. Gambling had been legalized in Nevada in 1931 and this distinct advantage over Galveston gradually lured mob figures such as New York City's Bugsy Siegel to Las Vegas. The competition created by the up-and-coming entertainment center in the desert substantially challenged the island on the Gulf.
Still even during the later years the Balinese room was able to attract the likes of Tony Bennett and Peggy Lee, among others. By the late 1940s corruption at the Texas state and county level was in decline. As investigation of the Makeo activities became more serious, the Makeos began plans to move their empire to Nevada. Sam Makeo became a major investor in the Desert Inn, which opened in 1950, the largest and most elaborate casino resort on the Las Vegas Strip at the time. Mo DeLitz, who opened the Desert Inn, and Sam and had long been allies and business partners, and financing of the Las Vegas project was largely facilitated by the Makeos and Moody's through the ANICO, the company, for its part, is known to have lent millions to known mob figures. Sam and Roj Makeo transferred controlling interest of most of their Galveston empire to a new group dominated by the Fertitta family with investments coming from business interests around the island. The Fertitta group, however, never wielded the influence that the Makeos had. Sam Makeo died of cancer in 1951 at Johns Hopkins Hospital, just after the opening of the Desert Inn. His death made national obituary news. Galveston's wide open era ended a few years after Meso's death when authorities raided the island's gambling establishments. The Balinese Room continued to operate as a restaurant until 2008, when it was completely destroyed by Hurricane Ike. See also Balinese Room Free State of Galveston Galveston, Texas Rosario Makeo Sicilian American Tillman J. Fertitta Texas City Disaster Notes References Galveston, Texas from the Handbook of Texas Online Burka, Paul, December 1983. Grand Dame of the Gulf. Texas Monthly. Cartwright, Gary, June 1993. One Last Shot. Texas Monthly. Cartwright, Gary, 1998. Galveston, A History of the Island. TCU Press. ISBN 0-689-11991-7. McComb, David G. 1986. Galveston. A History. University of Texas Press. ISBN 0-292-72049-1. McComb, David G. 1989. Texas. A Modern History. University of Texas Press. ISBN 0 292 73048 9. Sitton, Thad, 2006. The Texas Sheriff, Lord of the County Line. University of Oklahoma Press. ISBN 9780806134710. Utley Robert Marshall, 2007. Lone Star Law Men. Oxford. ISBN 9780195154443